hey y'all and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do a quick tutorial on sublimation not the sublimation process but i'm gonna talk about the printer that i have the ink that i use the paper that i use and where i purchase my sublimation blanks from because i get asked that question a lot so to start with i have a epson workforce 7720 i purchased this printer from staples i've had it almost two years when I purchased mine, the original price was $249. Staples has or had, shall I say, I'm not sure if they still do it, the buyback program. And what that is, is you can take any printer that you have, whether it's working or not, that you no longer use, and they will give you a $50 credit towards a new printer. So I got my printer for $199. Um, so to convert the printer, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, well, what do I need to do to convert it? Is it really hard? So I bought my printer brand new, so I didn't have to do anything special to it. Some people, um, take the ink that actually came with the printer and install that, you know, to run it through. I, I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. I didn't do that. I purchased ink, the refillable ink cartridges from Cobra Inks. And that's what I put in my printer to start off with. That's what I did. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the continuous ink system because I don't feel like I use my printer enough and I'm scared it's going to get clogged. So I don't use that. So I use the refillable ink cartridges. I purchased from Cobra Inks. It's a four ink system for the, um, 7720. You have the black, the cayenne, the yellow and the magenta. So I bought the cartridges already filled and I bought these refillables. So when it runs out, I don't have to buy new cartridges. I just use a syringe to refill the cartridge. It has instructions and everything. So that's the ink that I use. The paper that I use, I use the eight sub paper from Amazon. So this one is 11 by 17. I also have the 13 by 19 and I use the eight and a half by five, eight and a half by 11. I'm sorry, but I purchased this from Amazon. This, um, this one, the 11 by 17, I think it's like 30. No, I think it's like $40 for the box. It's like a hundred sheets in a box. And depending on what you're sublimating, how big your images are, you can get a lot of images on this one page on one sheet. Uh, okay. So some of the items that I that I use like are must-have items. Well, I'm not even going to say must-haves. They help me out a lot. So I use this dye transpray, dye transpro spray. Um, this is what I use just to make sure my image stays in place. I don't like to use it on my mugs because for some reason it like makes my colors run, you know, when I take when I take the image off after it's pressed. So I don't like to use it on my mugs, but I use this to hold my images in place. I also use heat transfer tape. I purchased that spray and this tape also from um, Cobra Inks. Um, I And I, I like this tape. I don't use this tape on my t-shirts because it leaves a, a mark. So I don't use it on there. But I love that to keep my images, keep everything in place. You also would need a lint roller. You would need like paper towel or, you know, cotton balls and um, alcohol. Because you want to clean all your surfaces. Because if you don't clean your surfaces, when you press this, whatever's there is there. This is totally different from vinyl. So once you press it on there, it is there. There's no getting it off. So I use these lint rollers to, to um, get all the lint and stuff off my t-shirts, you know, towels, um, pot holders, whatever I'm pressing. And I use the alcohol for all like my hard surfaces, like my mugs, my coasters, and things like that. Because you don't want to press all that ugh, whatever. So let's talk about some of the items that I use. So I use mugs, of course. I, I sublimate mugs. This is an 11 ounce mug. I purchased this mug from Amazon. Now they do sell mugs on um other sites like my site, my go-to sites are Johnson Plastic, um, Condi, and Heat Press Nation. Those are my go-to sites. But um, I purchased these mugs from Amazon because the mug itself, each individual mug is cheaper if I order from one of those sites. However, the shipping was crazy. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm not paying that type of shipping. So I ordered these mugs. It's 36 in a box for $60 and the shipping was free. So these are two of the mugs I did. This one is um in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This one is from Sickle Cell Awareness um, because September was Sickle Cell Awareness Month and I have a Sickle Cell warrior in my family so i definitely support that uh i i also do the matching mugs to go with or the matching coasters to go with my mugs i purchased these coasters from heat press nation they are four by four and i think it's uh like 4.95 for five 
Um, this is one of the coasters that I did. I also purchased these luggage tags from Heat Press Nation. I haven't pressed, I haven't um, did this one yet. Um, however, when you, the, the, um, the part that you connect this to your bag with, it doesn't come with it. So just keep that in mind. If you decide to order these, you have to get that piece separate. Okay. So, um, this stocking. So one thing about like sublimation, like when it comes to clothing and certain material, you want a high count polyester. So I purchased this Christmas stocking from Hobby Lobby. The original price was $11.99, but of course, you know, um, you got to get it when it's on sale for like 40% off. I have not <laughs> pressed a stocking yet, but it's 100% polyester. So I know you can press, you can sublimate on this because it's hundred, it's 100% polyester. Um... I have these microfiber washcloths that I purchased from Dollar Tree. These are 100% um, polyester as well. I haven't um, pressed anything on this yet. I'm probably going to play around with it this weekend. I have a long weekend. Um, these microfi microfiber cloths, these came from Dollar Tree. Um, I like to press on these. These are, um, you find these in the automotive section, but a lot of people use these um, type of towels. It's like sweat towels. So um, I did some of these for like a breast cancer awareness run and they came out perfect. I also purchased these um, pot holders from Dollar Tree. So these are 100% polyester as well. They have different colors. This is brown or a light brown color. They have a gray, they have black, they have red. So the, the, Sublimation is definitely not going to show up on the black. It shows up on the gray a little bit and the red. On the red, it looks kind of vintage. So I guess depending on what color you put on here, it might work. But most polyester, most sublimation, you need light colors. But like I said, it works on these. And I purchased, I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. And it turned out great. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention is you will need um, parchment paper. When you're doing sublimation, you need to put parchment paper on your mat, on your um, mat, on your heat press. Put your items that you're sublimating. Then you put parchment paper on top because sometimes this ink bleeds out. It has gotten on my Teflon sheet without my knowledge. And I have pressed something else afterwards with that Teflon sheet and it has messed it up. So keep parchment paper. And I use a different sheet almost every time when I press something because I don't want to take the chance of messing up something because... Sublimation is totally different from vinyl. Once it's on there, it is on there. There's no, oh, how can I get this off? There's no secret stuff to remove it. When it's there, it's there. So parchment paper is going to be your best friend when it comes to pressing. Okay, so I also purchased um, notebooks from the Dollar Tree, okay? So I purchased these notebooks. I think they only have these out when it's back to school time because I haven't seen them lately. I haven't seen any, but this is one. It's like a glittery notebook. It's gold. This one is um, a metallic. So this is what the metallic one looks like. I don't really like the metallic. It's like my colors are not as vibrant on this one, but it works. You can sublimate on it. So that's the metallic one, and this is the gold one. This is one of my designs I put on the gold one. This is for my daughter. Um, she's a senior this year, and this is another one that I did. Um, so like I said, this is the the uh, glitter glitter one, but I think they only have these during um, back to school time. I'm not sure. So, um, ribbon. So I purchased this ribbon from Walmart. I think it was like $4.97. Um, they have ribbon at the craft stores and probably the ribbon at Hobby Lobby is probably a little bit cheaper. I was just in there and I was just on the craft aisle and I'm like, oh, let me see if I can, what I can do with this ribbon, see if I can sublimate on it because it's a hundred percent polyester. So I purchased this ribbon from Walmart and I put my daughter's senior portraits on there and voila, it works magic. I've also used a gross grain ribbon too. It's 100% polyester and it works wonders. I love it. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this ribbon, but I am going to be that extra mom at graduation time because this is my baby girl. And once she graduates, that'll be it. I'll be an empty nester. So I'm definitely going to be extra. So these little pocket, actually, this is not a pocket fan. I always call that, but that's not what it is. This is actually a pocket frisbee. I purchased this from Amazon. It's a frisbee with a little pouch. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. 
these can be sublimated on i cannot think of the name of the company that actually makes these things but it's cheaper to purchase it off their website than it is from amazon i think it's like 25 cents cheaper or something like that i can't remember off the top of my head but they are never in stock they always are sold out but amazon always have plenty so this is what it looks like this is the pouch i made this last year for graduation um, these make perfect keepsake gifts and this is the actual fan itself so i have a hard time folding these things back up too so just like right now i have to do that later or get my daughter to do it okay so mouse pads you can sublimate mouse pads i purchased these mouse pads from um Cobra Inks, I think. Yeah, I got these from Cobra Inks. It's five of them for like $9. And this is what it looks like when I sublimated it in honor of breast cancer awareness. Okay. Uh, puzzles. So, I do puzzles as well. Um, I purchased these puzzles from Amazon. Now, I did my first puzzle I did. It was when I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, it can work. I think that's chipboard that their puzzles are made out of. Blank puzzle. It was chipboard. It did work, but it wasn't as like it. It was more like a matte finish. I don't know. It it just it wasn't to my liking. So I purchased these puzzles from Amazon. So and this is what it looks like. These make great wedding gifts because that's actually what I am doing with this one. Um, my cousin got married over the summer, so this is gonna be um one of her gifts that I'm gonna send her. Um, let's see. What else? Magnets. So I purchased these magnets from, um, Johnson Plastic. Most of my items do come from Johnson Plastic. Um, yeah, cause I just, I just like Johnson Plastic. So that's where most of my items come from. So this, this is a magnet. This is how it looks. Um, there's no, um, I'm not sure. There's like no right or wrong side on this. But this is the, um, once you press it, this is the magnetic strip that you're going to put on the back. And this is how mine look once I sublimate it. That's the front. That's the magnetic strip on the back. I love it. Those are good gifts for when you do vendor events and stuff. I do feel with those. I purchased these from Johnson Plastic as well. These are the, the um, card holders that go on the back of your phone where you can put your ID, your ID driver's license, um, credit card i won't put my credit card in there but that's what these are for um and this is what it looks like when i pressed it um they also have car coasters i purchased these from johnson plastic as well you send me a car to have the cork back this is what that looked like when it's pressed okay and ornaments so i purchased these ornaments from johnson plastic they are just round. These are three inches, I think. Um, you can sublimate on the front and the back if you choose. They come with um, a ribbon for hanging. Okay. These are two that I did. This one is, um, that's our first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. And I also have a memorial ornament for my uncle and my cousin that passed away. Um, they passed away at a young age. But I'm not going to talk about that. I have this water bottle. I purchased this water bottle from Walmart. Um, I think it was like $6. I don't know. I think they just had them over the summer. But you can sublimate on these. They are glitter. It's like a glitter texture to it. And um, yeah, you can sublimate on them. Let's see. What else I have? Okay, I have um, eye masks. So I purchased these items from Hellbound. Yeah, Hellbound. So I purchased this eye mask. I haven't used this yet. Um, I'm not even sure what I was going to use it for. I just purchased it. And I had it about probably like six months. And I purchased these keychains. So these are their keychains. The bigger one is a lip gloss holder. You can put your lip gloss in here. And this one is um lip balm holder. You know, you can put um you probably put a small thing, a Carmex in here or something like that. But this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's pressed. I put Nipsey Hustle on this one. <laughs> long live nipsey and you can just put your um your lip gloss or whatever down in there okay i also do passport passport covers so i purchased these passport covers from ally express that's the that's what it comes like this is the inside and this is what it looks like when it's pressed 
These are, um, it was $40 for 10 of them, I think, which I think that's a good price. It's just since, it's, since you're ordering from Ally Express, it's coming from China or wherever it comes from. So it takes a long time for it to come in. So just be aware of that. I have wallets and crossbody bags. So I purchased these crossbody bags and these wallets from Johnson's Plastic. This is what it looks like. It's black. This flat. This piece is the this is the part that you're gonna sublimate on. And this is what it looks like after I sublimated. I made this for my niece. I seen a picture this little girl and it looked just like my niece. So I know she's gonna love this. Okay. I also did wallets. They have different types of wallets. I ordered these from Johnson Classic as well. I was just playing around. I just ordered two of each, you know, just to test them out and see how it worked. And I like how they came out. I made these for breast cancer awareness. What I should have did was flip the picture the other way, but press the other way. But those that's the wallets. Like I said, they turned out great. It came from Johnson Classic. Okay. I also ordered these sequin pillowcases. These sequin pillowcases from Johnson Plastics. So um, they never, they hardly ever keep these things in stock. So you have to like stock up on these um, sequin pillow, mermaid pillows, magic pillows, whatever you want to call it, as well as the makeup bag. I ordered those from Johnson Plastics. I have this this bag as well. I think I purchased this locally, though. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. So, you know, with these bags, you just you want to press it on. You want to pull all your sequins up, and you want to press it on the light side. So, some of them, when, when I order my bag or my pillow inserts, rather, I make sure that it's either, like, a light color. They have, like, gold. They have silver. Um, they have... Um, well, they have like two different types, two different colors of gold and silver, and they have red. But the red one, make sure you're doing the red one with the silver sequins or the light color sequins because if you don't, it's not gonna your colors is probably not gonna pop. Is it? But if it's a dark color, um, I also have these notebooks. I think I I purchased this notebook from um AC Moore, the sequin notebook, and it's basically the same way. You press on this this light side, the silver side, and then you just you know, press your image and voila, it's there. Okay. So I have that. So I don't really do too many t-shirts, but, um, because I don't really like polyester. A lot of, well, being that I'm in the military, um, we have these moisture wicking shirts. A lot of soldiers like those. So I can do the tan ones, but I do those when asked, but I don't really do too many t-shirts, but I purchased this one from Walmart. This is a no boundaries tank top and it's 92% polyester. I do use these a lot. I have sold a lot of these because the colors are really good on here. But like I said, sometimes I mess up a lot of shirts because they have stuff on there. So I try to keep my shirts, especially my polyester shirts, in, in bags um, because I don't want stuff getting on them because I don't have time to be fighting. <laughs> so... This one is one that came from Jiffy Shirts. So I ordered most of my t-shirts from Jiffy. This is an all sport um, brand and it is 100% polyester. They have different ones. Um, they, they have Gildan uh, Performance. They have the Gildan Women t-shirts. But to me, the Gildan Women t-shirts, 100% polyester, they run small. So I, I stay away from those. Normally when I do polyester, I always do the unisex shirts. Um, let's see. So I purchased this, this, um, mat from Walmart. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do with this mat, but I'm always in Walmart on the clearance aisle and I take my, my phone out and I scan. I'm like, Oh, let's see how much this is. So I scanned this. It was like a dollar. I think it was a dollar and 50 cent. So when I looked at it, it was hundred percent polyester. I'm like, Oh, so I'm going to put something on here. I'm going to use this for sublimation. What I'm going to put on it, I have no idea, but I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going to put something on there. So um, that's basically all the items that I have around the house that I um, do sublimation on. Uh, there's plenty more items out there. I mean, you can just go um, look on the different sites. My go-to site is Johnson Plastic. I shop at Johnson Plastic, Condi, Heat Press Nation, but Johnson Plastic is my go-to site. I love Heat Press Nation as well. I like them all. The thing I don't really care for about Heat Press Nation is you have to buy in bulk. You can't just buy ones and twos of things. So you guys just check those sites out. Um, and I hope this video was helpful. Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> so maybe I'll do a more detailed video on sublimation, how the whole sublimation process works um, a little later. But um, just, just let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions, if you have places that you buy your blanks from, or if you have any questions, just leave them in the, in the description or leave them, leave me a comment below. Um, and so until next time, you guys have a great, great night. I have a four-day weekend, so I'm probably going to be up late tonight working. So you guys have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye.